ATA CMS missiles strike on Russian forces in Luhansk region. Experts explains purpose. Aerial drone footage shared by military analysts appears to show dozens of Russian soldiers being targeted with US-supplied long-range Army Tactical Missile Systems or ATA CMS at a training ground in Ukraine's eastern Luhansk region. The video was also shared by Russian military analyst Ian Matviev who estimated potential casualties to be in the dozens. Russian officers again took the soldiers out for training to stand in a crowd next to the trucks. But they forgot that in addition to the cluster HIMARS, the Ukrainian armed forces now also have cluster ATA CMS, which fly even further, wrote Matviev. The strike occurred approximately 78 kilometers from the front line, according to Militanyi and the commentary of Oleksandr Musienko, the head of the Center for Military Legal Studies of Ukraine. In the video captured by a reconnaissance drone, a large gathering of Russian military personnel is visible, followed by an attack on them with three missiles containing cluster warheads. According to Militani, the area of effect and the number of sub-munitions are significantly greater than in GMLRS, but it's probable that the strike was carried out by American-produced ATA CMS ballistic missiles. Such strikes in the Luhansk region are crucial. It's precisely in the territory of the northeastern part of the Luhansk region that Russia has been training and coordinating its units, which were specifically preparing for escalation of hostilities in the Kharkiv region where Russia plans to reinforce its advance, explained Musienko. The head of the Center for Military Legal Studies clarified that the Ukrainian armed forces are targeting clusters of enemy strike groups. It's necessary to strike not only at Crimea, as the Russian troop formations in the east and in the Belgorod and Kursk regions are not dependent on the occupied Crimea. Therefore, strikes, specifically in the Luhansk region, are extremely important, he added. Musienko emphasized that the purpose of such strikes is to slow down the enemy's offensive actions. The goal is to slow down the enemy's offensive actions, not allowing them to deploy into combat formations. While we await more advanced weaponry, it's crucial to use what we have, namely ATA CMS, to strike the enemy in their rear and prevent them from advancing to the front line, he concluded. Asia Times. NATO sends combat troops to Ukraine. The North Atlantic Alliance is sending its combat units to Ukraine. This was reported by Asia Times. The publication notes that in this way, NATO is trying to prevent Russia's victory. According to the author of the material, a full-fledged military conflict between the West and the Russian Federation may begin after Biden's victory in the U.S. presidential election. The alliance's plan to prevent a Ukrainian armed forces disaster is to fill the gaps in the ranks of the Ukrainian forces by importing its advisors. Biden is waiting until re-election to formally order the deployment of US troops. Then the Third World War will begin, says Asia Times. The author of the material emphasizes that soldiers from Poland, France, Great Britain, Finland and other NATO member countries are already arriving in Ukraine in large numbers. So far, these formations are concentrated mainly in Western Ukraine, However, the activities of some Western units have already been noticed in the immediate vicinity of the contact line. NATO says that these are not combat soldiers, but specialists in maintaining sophisticated Western equipment. But if they are shooting at Russians, then the only way to interpret their presence is as an active role in the hostilities. Notes the author of the material recalling that the United States previously sent advisors to Vietnam using the same scheme. Asia Times also notes that the United States has already fully realized the inevitable collapse of the Ukrainian army and therefore the only way out of the current situation is considered the full-fledged deployment of American and NATO troops to Ukraine. In national security circles, there is fear of a Russian victory in Ukraine. It would be a serious setback for America's security strategy and a blow to NATO, perhaps even a fatal one, the publication says. At the same time, the publication emphasizes that the North Atlantic Alliance is simply not ready for a full-scale conflict with Russia.